We're here with our weekly visit with head football coach Rod Reed. Uh, coach Reed coming off an impressive uh, victory over Jackson State, 38 to 12. Now you turn your focus to Austin P. Your turn to Hale Stadium. Uh, the last uh, five games against Austin P. Three points or less. Um, what is it? What is it about these two teams they get together? It seems like it comes down to the uh, the final quarter, final minutes. I mean, it's just turned into a rivalry game. Uh, you got a lot of guys that go to Austin Peter from the Nashville area, you know, and uh, a lot of guys that play for us, you know, know those guys, and it's right up the road, and their fans, you know, come out in mass to see this game, and our fans, you know, come out in mass to see this game. But, um, you know, the last couple of years, they've gotten a better part of us, so we've got to be focused going into this game and not worry about all the festivities and the hoopla that's going to be going around about us playing in the hole. You know, our kids understand the, the tradition. They understand what that hole means down there, so we got to come out and show it. You start with two non-conference games. You have a conference opponent this week, and you go uh, back out of conference next two weeks. Do you, do you like that playing, you know, your, a, a conference game out of uh, Well, out of the I mean, there? it's just part of our heritage. I mean, we're an HBCU. You know, uh, Tennessee State, Jackson State, Tennessee State, Florida a &M. Those are games that we're supposed to play. That's who we are. That's that's where we started from. Those are, that's our roots. So uh, I don't mind playing those games. And uh, we're in the OVC, so you know we have to play conference games. So mm -hmm. it's not a big problem for me. I think it allows our kids to get the, kind of the best of both worlds to be affiliated with a great conference like the OVC. But again, keep your HBCU heritage mm -hmm. and be able to play those non-conference games like a Jackson and a Florida a and Do you do anything different with a conference game than a non-conference game? No, you have to approach it the same way. I mean, uh, to me, you know, the Liberty Bowl is going to be a, uh, it's just a bigger version of what the whole is probably going to be like on uh, Saturday night, uh, Saturday afternoon. It's going to be crowded. It's going to be loud. The band's going to be playing. So our kids are used to playing big games, like I said, so we just got to go out and play. Travis Ward, he got co-offensive player of the week in the conference. He's been averaging 120 yards rushing mm -hmm. last five games. Seemed like he really sparked the offense for you guys uh, against Jackson State. Well, I mean, the offensive line sparked the mm -hmm. game also. They did a great job uh, on Austin, I mean, on uh, Jackson State's uh, defensive line and their linebackers creating some holes for Travis. So, like I said, once we got it figured out after those first couple of series, I think our offense was rolling pretty good. And, you know, defensively, our guys stood up and they held Jackson State early, and uh, we were able to hang on. It seems like you've been uh, creating some turnovers and have been taking care of the ball pretty well your first two games. You have to be pretty uh, pleased with that. Oh, absolutely. Uh, anytime you're in a plus uh, fashion in the turnover margin area, you feel good about that. I think we're a plus four in turnover margin right now. And anytime you're taking the ball away more than you're giving it away, that speaks uh, volumes for your football team. So the return to Hale Stadium, uh, first game since 98 down there. What are some of your memories as a player? Um, you know, I guess we, we won a lot down there, but, mm -hmm. you know, my, my probably biggest memory is the one that we lost in the 7-6 game uh, to Alabama A&M, which uh, ruined an undefeated season for us. So, you know, I, you know, it's bittersweet a little bit when I think about it, but we won way more than we lost down there. So I'm really excited about our guys getting the opportunity to go down there and play. Have you talked to the players about what to expect? Or are you going to do that on Friday? Well, I mean, you know, I just told them they don't have a clue. Mm -hmm. They don't have a clue of the atmosphere that they're about to walk into. Even with playing in the Liberty Bowl, playing in the Georgia Dome, uh, when you walk into that hole, it's just a special feeling, and I think they'll get it uh, once they hit the field on Saturday. All right, thanks, Coach, and we'll talk to you again next week. All right, thanks.